Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com, here to bring you a little PSA on the proper wearing of body armor, in particular, hard plates. My first introduction to hard plate armor was on the flight deck of the USS Dubuque back in late 2001. It said, here's your plates, put them in your vests, we're going to Pakistan. And then Christmas in Afghanistan. But that was the guidance. Here's your plates, put them in the vest. And through the rest of my military career, as well as my time in law enforcement, and even into contracting, I think there's this kind of knowledge gap with respect to the how and the why with respect to hard plates. First, let's start with the why. Why hard plates? What is our intended objective? Is it to protect us? Yes, but no. We're not just trying to protect us. The big thing we want to do is keep us in the fight. The way we're going to do that is to keep us breathing, keep our heart beating. Extremities, all that stuff, can have bad things happen to us, but we can still be in the fight as long as our heart's beating and we're still breathing. The way we're going to do that is to protect our heart, obviously, and then as far as our lungs go, lungs aren't as important as our diaphragm. Granted, we can get rounds through our lungs being in a bad way, but if our diaphragm gets damaged, we can't breathe, period, regardless of how intact your lungs may be. To further illustrate the point, I've got this handy Sage Dynamics Vital Anatomy target for you. Right here, we have our spine going up, obviously incredibly important, and we want to protect as much of that as we can without sacrificing mobility. But as you can see here in the middle, we have our heart center of our chest. Behind it and coming up above it, we have a lot of important stuff. We have our aortic arch coming up here, we have our pulmonary trunk, and we also have our vena cava. Any of that, to include our heart, gets damaged, we're going to bleed out, we're done, it's over. So we want to protect all that and also along the bottom here, we also have our diaphragm, incredibly important to keep us breathing. Moving on to the how, how do we protect all this important stuff, comes down to two different factors. One, having the appropriately sized plate, and two, making sure that plate is placed appropriately over that anatomy on us. So how are we going to do that? First, we're going to look at a couple things on our body. At the top, right here, we have the supersternal notch. Very top of your sternum, there's a little notch. We want the top of our plate to at least be that high when we're standing because a lot of important stuff back there. Right at the top there, you have your aortic arch, other stuff. Want to make sure our plate is that high to cover it and protect it. Down here, the bottom of our sternum, we want to make sure our plate extends at least an inch and a half past that to protect the lion's share of our diaphragm, keep us breathing. As far as left and right, we want to make sure our plate extends enough to basically cover our nipples on either side. So when I put on this plate carrier for demonstration, up here I have my super sternal notch at the top. Make sure my plate covers that. Down here, again, at least an inch and a half past the diaphragm. Want to make sure my nipples are covered either side. That's going to give me as much protection as I can get and still have a lot of mobility. Easy way to check your front plate is if it's sized correctly, push your head down if you can touch it with the top of your chin or touch the top of your plate with your chin rather, it's probably in the right spot. We want to make sure we do this when we're standing. If we sit and this pushes up, that's fine. But when we're standing in mobile, we want to make sure it's at least this high to maintain protection over those vitals. We also want to make sure our rear plate is appropriately placed. To do that, on our back, we're going to find this protuberance. This bone sticks out. It's our C7 vertebrae. We want to make sure that our rear plate, the top of it, is about an inch below that. That's going to make sure that our rear plate is also lined up and covering all of our vials to include our aortic arch, and it's gonna go down low enough as well, cover lion's share of our diaphragm and everything like that. 
That's going to give us the best placement of our plates to protect those vital spots to keep us in the fight as long as we possibly can while maintaining the highest level of mobility. What about side plates? Right here we have my profile anatomy target I made. As you can see here, we have our heart, we have our sternum, diaphragm, spine. All these important vessels. Again, the important stuff we want to protect. When we wear side plates, it's usually on our cummerbund, and it's down here on our cummerbund of our plate carrier. Not protecting this stuff up here. To protect this up here, you would effectively have to have that plate up tucked into your armpit. Best way to get side protection is going to be through something like Cry Precision's shoulder plates. That's going to do the best job for you. Stuff down here, yeah, it's going to protect your liver, your kidneys. And while we have a lot of blood going through there, and those are important things, they aren't vital in the sense of keeping us in the fight like this stuff right here is. And then it comes down to having side plates at what cost, whether it be mobility and or just interfering with gear otherwise that's going to be riding on your belt and forcing you into a drop leg holster or anything like that. Take away from all this, don't get shot. We want to make sure we have the appropriately sized plate and that our plate carrier is set up in such a way that keeps that plate covering those vitals. Again, the way we're going to do that, top of our plate, it's going to come up to our suprasternal notch, top of our sternum. Bottom of the plate, it's going to extend about an inch and a half at least below our sternum. Width, cover our nipples. Rear plate, want to make sure we can feel that protuberance a bone that sticks out on our spine, about an inch below that, we want our top of the plate to be there. That is going to cover those vitals and at the same time preserve the maximum amount of mobility for us in that fight. Hopefully this has been informative. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.